I'm worried it's gonna break. True Charge is an insane amount of money for sticks and it lasted three weeks. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So I got the brand new True AX9 that I talked about in the last video. This is the True AX9. There's no warranty on this. It's a little like grip system here. It looks kind of dumb. I'm gonna do a dedicated review to it soon. I'll use it for like one ice time, one ice time only. I'll show you some clips on ice to the stick and we'll come back and talk about that. So this is my first time. This is gonna be my only ice time with the True AX9. I wanna save it for games. It's a really good stick. I'm getting seriously triggered right now because I had the, and no pun intended, I had the A6.0 hair trigger. I like the feel. I've never had a stick that felt better when it came to deflecting puck. Didn't like the durability because I only got like three weeks out of this, which was like seven or eight skates. Three sticks and they all broke in three weeks, four weeks, give or take. And the big issues that I had, a lot of chipping in the paddle. The paddle's already starting to chip and I just used it for 60 minutes of escape. I'm worried it's gonna break. It's a pro return, there's no warranty on the stick. True charges an insane amount of money for sticks. And don't get me wrong, the A6.0 was probably my favorite stick on the market, aside from the fact that it was $300 and it lasted three weeks. For the time being, I'm gonna say the Hair Trigger is my new favorite stick. That is the reason why I didn't want to use it on a full-time basis. The AX9 continues on all that. This grip here, this fingerprinted grip thing is the best grip I have ever felt on a goal stick. It's better than the 2S, better than the one, like this, every single company out there needs to be taking notes and making grips just like this. It looks dumb. It looks like a kid drew like roses on the edge of my stick and on my paddle, but this fingerprint design, this thing is awesome, it works. The grip control, fantastic. So awesome pucks off the blade, just like the A6.0, fantastic. Puck control is good, there's no vibrations. This is a great, fantastic stick. And it's a shame they don't make it in full right at the retail level because if they actually lasted, and again, like I said, look, this thing's already chipping. 
and I haven't even had it for 60 minutes on the ice. True bought VH Footwear. VH Footwear was a Winnipeg-based company that was making all these awesome custom skates. I had VH skates and I'm still using them to this day. It's the skates that I use in this video. And they're amazing skates, world-class skates. There's nothing better than a VH skate. But True bought VH, I felt they watered everything down. They tried to streamline things. They tried to get too big too fast, trying to pump out too many sets of skates. And they're trying to make these cutting edge products, which do not get me wrong, they are cutting edge, but they don't last. They're not built to last, they're not durable. And that's evidence on the A6.0, the fact that they're charging 300 bucks for a stick that lasts three weeks. The AX9, I've used it for one skate and I'm already scared it's gonna break. And I don't have a warranty on this. So I'm probably not gonna use this until the start of the season in a month from now. So this will just be collecting dust until then. And during my interactions with True, when they sent me two sets of two-piece skates on the house, when they sent me all the A6.0 hair trigger sticks, I felt they're more worried about a marketing campaign telling people it's a great product and actually making a great product. It is a great product, but it doesn't last. And it can't truly be a great product if it doesn't last and I'm not getting my value and my money's worth. I'm not spending $300 on a stick because it's gonna break in two skates or it's gonna break in three weeks. I'm spending $300 on a stick because it's gonna be the best performing stick that money can buy. And it's gonna last me four months, five months, six months down the line. I know that's not realistic and I know I'm probably arguably the world's toughest person when it comes to just beating up sticks and breaking them. I expect more to true. I think for the price that they're charging, they can absolutely do more. It's kind of disappointing. Again, hasn't broken yet. The performance is top notch, and this is my favorite stick, but I'm not gonna be using it for a bit. If you like reviews like this, I don't do reviews super often. I do more vlogs talking about like my hockey journey, playing overseas in Sweden this season, but I do do reviews from time to time. So I highly recommend you subscribe if you wanna see more videos like that, or if you just like to make fun of me in the comments section. Thanks for watching. And before I conclude this review, if you haven't heard of Block and you have a new stick, you've been an absolute lunatic not to have a Block. If you're tired of getting your fingers smashed from pucks coming in inside that opening of your blocker, this will protect you. It'll help minimize the risk of injury and more confident in your uh, gameplay. Promo code TRAVSUCKS will save you 10% on the Block as well as any and all button and scripts. I highly recommend you pick one up if you haven't already. Thanks for watching this video. Bye. Go get you one now. Turn the camera off. Get out of here. Get up there, boo-boo. Humana, humana, humana. Hope you fall. You lose some weight, fatty. Lay off the curlers. Crewlers. What are they? Honey crewlers. Turn the camera off, hey. okay? Hey. I swear, turn the camera off. Get, get that heater in here. Hey. Let's talk to that friend on your chinny chin chin. You're being let go. How about this? I quit. Video's over. Go home.